Bars is back. Santa Ann. Oh God. What's up with you? Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Oh God, driving Sam and riding passenger side, and you heard it out the mouth of the greatest rapper alive. I'll I, I'll fight the bullies. I, I I like fighting the bullies. I you know I never picked on nobody done like that. If you was somebody was picking on somebody, I'd be the first one to say, man, leave them people alone. They not bothering you. I bet you wouldn't do me like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, so I was that type of dude like that, you know, very humble. Um, and, and um, like I said, Puff knew I was nice with my hands and everything like that. And, you know, he just, you know, he wanted me to be with him because we had been through some stuff. Because you got to realize we started off at the red zone in the building. Do you remember? Do y'all too young for the building? Yeah. The building was where they had unsigned hype. That Monday night they used to do uh like leaders of the new school, okay. naughty by nature, uh uh what's her name, Queen Latifah. All the new rappers used to come there and showcase their stuff on Monday night. Puff used to do that, Daddy's house at the building. Then he used to do the party on Wednesday at the red zone. About 91, 92. Yes. Right yeah, we were about eight, nine years old at that time. That was a little, <laughs> a little before our time, but we yes, was sir. getting there. We were definitely getting there. Talk about all right, because you hear all the time, especially during that time, you hear the Illuminati talk, selling souls. This person sacrificed all this wild shit. Um, without giving too much away, because I don't know what's in your book and what's not in your book. How real was that? That part, that the the, the sadistic, wild, demonistic side of hip hop. That's all out there. All the conspiracies are out there, but no one's really ever brought. Bro, you don't see that. You know what happens is that they have, they got places where you go and the bodyguards have to stop right here. Mm. And then unless the girls come back who's back there with them, tell you what was going on, you don't see it per se. I've been in one situation where I've seen some crazy stuff. And that's dudes getting set up, you know, as far as like, whereas that, if I could say this, like you have a girl uh, being sexual to this one guy maybe going down on him mm -hmm. and he's back there rolling his eyes he's he hiding the mother and he when he when he put his head down is one of them white boys sucking on him oh you understand that has happened you understand what i'm saying then you got these guys who they go into these turkish houses once you get to that door you don't go back in there but you know what they do in them turkish houses well you can assume what they do quote unquote in those turkish houses you mm -hmm. understand but you get stopped at the door you, you get what i'm saying yeah yeah you know you go into the building mm -hmm. but they had that that last door you don't go past that you securing that door at that point yeah yeah, yeah. pretty deep now 